Today I'm going to explain how you can read data from smart contract storage using Ethers and this uh, composer tool from Alchemy. And for this purpose I've created this savings account contract or whatever it is. It just stores two variable bytes that are byte 32 and I have deployed this contract to the ring we tested. And if you didn't know, everything, that is every data stored inside smart contract can be read from the outside world. And storage is a way to permanently save data inside the smart contract. And all of these state variables are stored inside the contract storage. To deploy this contract to any testnet, you need to provide uh, both these variables into in bytes32 format so what I've done is I'm using this tool to convert a string to bytes32 I've pasted both uh, the ver both variables here I've deployed the contract to ringb we can see both uh, their values here and now we can read them in two ways first of which is using this very cool alchemy composer tool which, will, which makes calls which makes call to smart contracts and all you have to do is uh, select the network it even supports Solana so select the theorem I'm using ringb this is where my contract is deployed you can use a lot of methods you can read a lot of stuff from smart contracts I'm using the get storage add function provide the contract address provide the index at which so I forgot to mention this, but the contract storage is stored inside this very long 2 to the power of 256 array, so it has this many slots, so you can store a lot of data inside smart contracts. These are all memory slots, supporting 32 bytes of data, so you can store 32 bytes. And inside my contract, in the first slot, I have, I'm have storing this password variable. And inside this, I'm storing another. This is in the second slot, which you can query if you select index one here. So I'm querying now the first slot, as you can see, zero slot. So just provide the block number, conscious address, zero. Click on send request. Then we have we get this result output. So if I go up here and convert this bytes to a string we can see that this value is one string which is exactly what I provided and the same applies for this second variable so if I go up here and select instead of the slot at index 0 I select index 1 click on send request and I believe copy the bytes I believe I call this in other strings so if I convert the bytes you can see I get another string you can also do this with the ethers package and I've developed a simple website here that uses ethers and reads does the same thing but with ethers so I have a three buttons connect metamask get balance just to get the balance just to see the balance of the accounts this is how you connect metamask and this read from country storage is the actual uh, reading storage. And I have a linked index uh, JavaScript file that connects, uh, basically connects your account. I don't think even this is necessary. You get the balance, have the get balance function and the read from uh, smart country storage. So again we use the get storage add function, you need to provide the country address and the storage slot.